Hello and welcome to Sunset Seekers. We are so honored that you stopped by to check out our video. Uh, we made it to Possum Kingdom State Park. It's in Texas, um, about an hour, hour and a half west of Fort Worth. It's a great state park. Uh, we just arrived. It's been a couple of months since our last camping trip. We, uh, in June, we celebrated Christie's birthday at a Corps of Engineer Park. And if you haven't seen that video, check that out right there. It was on a beautiful lake, Wright Patman Lake. And today we're on another beautiful lake. In fact, Possum Kingdom is one of the most popular lakes in the state of Texas. It's rated as one of the most beautiful lakes in the state of Texas. And uh, for those of you that don't know, there are no natural lakes in the state of Texas except for one, and that is Caddo Lake. And it's actually more in Louisiana than it is in Texas. It kind of, it borders Louisiana and Texas. Uh, but we visited that state park as well, and uh, we have that video in our library if you want to check that out. But today we're excited to be camping again. It's been two months and it just seems like it's been six months. Okay, so first things first, I wanna to talk to you about the campsite itself, my first initial impressions. We just got here a couple of hours ago and uh, today is really hot. So we took a little bit of time to kind of cool off and we've got both of our AC units going. It is a 50 amp site, so that's something that you need to know first off. Um, in the heat of the summer like this, you do need those dual units going. And you can probably hear mine going in the background there. Sorry for the noise. Um, this was a pretty tight spot to back into. Now, if you are a full-timer and you're constantly on the go, uh, this may be no big deal to you. But to somebody like me, and you may be like me, I always feel like I'm out of practice when I get to a site. There are some campsites it just seems like, you know, you just stab it right in there, no problem at all. Then there are sites like this where, well, let's just say it took us about 10 or 15 minutes to really get good in the site and get it, you know, squared up the way that we wanted it. And uh, yeah, it was a little stressful. Let's just say that Christy and I had some heated negotiations during the process. Okay, so let's check out the campsite itself. Uh, as I said before, this is a 50 amp site. It is only water and electric. Uh, the, there is no sewer. So if you're gonna be staying any longer than a couple of days, you will need to utilize your portable waste tank. But there is quite a bit of a slope from front to back. I forget exactly what the length of this site was, but as you can see, we didn't quite have enough room for the truck, so we've kind of had to park it in there a little sideways like that. And we are in site number 60. And one of the main reasons why I picked this site was because of the availability. First off, there weren't that many sites left uh, when, I, when I did my booking. But this was one of the only sites on this loop that really had a view of the lake. And I'll show you what I mean. Now, there are some lake sites on the Shady Grove Loop that provide an excellent view of the lake. The drone footage that you're seeing right now is at about 150 feet in elevation, I believe, but this is part of the lake that you can see from Shady Grove. And as we pan to the left, you can see the red-roofed house there coming into view. We could see that house from our campsite, which is a little higher up on the hill from the sites at the lakeside. And as we roll out here, you'll notice that you can really only see one RV in the shot, and that's our rig there in the lower left of the screen. Our site was the only site in the higher elevations of the Shady Grove Loop that had a view of the lake at all. But once we were up in the RV, we had a pretty good view of the lake from our back window. As we move forward, you can see an open area there towards the top of the ridge. That is an overlook that we will show you later on in the video that provides a commanding view of the park and the surrounding area. Now I want to take some time to give you a tour of the state park starting with the area that our campsite was located which was the aforementioned Shady Grove Camping Loop. Now as you can see the campground has a lot of RV sites and so I'm not going to cover the entire state park for time's sake. But we will look at a few sites illustrated here from every area of the park just to give you an idea of what the park looks like and what to expect when you get here. And we'll also offer up a few recommendations and show you some more footage of Possum Kingdom Lake and the beautiful landmarks of Hell's Gate and Devil's Island, which are popular local attractions on the lake. Let's begin our tour here at site number 54.
Now you can pick up the trailhead just off the Shady Grove Loop leading to the overlook that I mentioned earlier. The trail leading up to the top is a little treacherous so we urge caution as you make your way up. It's just a short distance up the trail to reach this vantage point and it is well worth the journey. Well this is our last day of our trip before we head out tomorrow. We've had a wonderful weekend here at Possum Kingdom State Park. Uh, it's been a great, great stay. Uh, we had uh, the experience of flying a drone over the over the lake and checking out Hell's Gate and Devil's Island. It's been a long, long time since I've uh, operated a boat, so that was a kind of an adventure. And we went to a restaurant that was on the lake, and this is actually a gorgeous lake. Possum Kingdom is, I can certainly understand why it's been voted as Tex one of Texas's most beautiful lakes. Now, as far as the state park itself, I've actually been a lot more impressed with the tent camping sites than I have been the RV site. There's a few sites on the, the Shady Grove Loop that I would recommend. Our site is a pretty nice site. It's site number 60. Uh, the only problem is, is that m most of the sites here uh, in the state park are not very big. You're not going to fit. There's not a whole lot of sites that that accommodate really large rig. So that's something you'll definitely need to check if you book reservations here. Uh, make sure that your rig will fit into the site. All in all, it's been a really fun weekend. And uh, I mean, just look at that view. I mean, it's something else really. Now on Friday when Christy and I took the boat out, there was not a whole lot of activity out on the lake. But the last couple of days, Saturday and Sunday, today, uh, there's all kinds of activity. There's jet skis everywhere, boats. This is a very, very popular lake for uh, recreational sports. Uh, also scuba diving, believe it or not, it's one of the very few places in the state of Texas, um, freshwater lake that is, where you can go and scuba dive. A beautiful, beautiful area. Right down here, that is the bathhouse. And right about over here is where our camper's at. Christy's making breakfast right now, so I need to head on back to the rig. But uh, just wanted to come up here and give you a view of this beautiful scenic overlook. Next, we'll take a quick tour of the Lakeview camping area to include the boat ramp and swimming area, and then we'll move on to the Spanish Oaks. Now, I was amazed at just how much stuff they managed to squeeze into such a small space at the park store. If you forget to bring something on your camping trip, I would definitely recommend checking the park store before you drive off to the nearest town for supplies. It's actually a pretty good possibility that they have what you're looking for. Jeff and Lisa are the couple that operate the store and they told us that they've been doing this for 25 years. 
Christy and I found a couple of things that we liked, including this shirt, which has an SPF of 50 and provides good protection from the sun. It's, it's also very comfortable to wear. Now it's time to check out the Chaparral Trail camping area and I have to tell you that I was really impressed with the tent camping sites on this loop and there are three sites in particular that I wanted to show you because I think that these three sites illustrate what I think is spectacular about the Chaparral Trail area of the park. There are many sites on this loop that offer excellent lake access and many of the sites have a semi-private swimming hole. Some of them even have some shade right at the water's edge, making for a very comfortable place to relax in the lake. These sites are wonderful and I highly recommend these sites to all the tent campers out there. Let's take a look at site numbers 100, 106, and 109. several trails leading off the back side of this site and it's also probably one of the most private sites because it is on the very end of the loop. It's one of the last sites that you come to. This site's not as private as site number 100, but it offers excellent lake access. I really love the covered pavilion at this site, and this is also one of those sites where you can find some shade at the water's edge. Now it's time to show you a few of the highlights of our exploration of Possum Kingdom Lake. Possum Kingdom Lake is a reservoir constructed on the Brazos River between 1936 and 1941. The lake has an area of approximately 17,000 acres with 310 miles of shoreline and it's routinely rated as one of the most beautiful lakes in the state of Texas. Christy and I were amazed by the cliffside homes, the beautiful rock formations, and just the overall grandeur of the lake. If you book a site at the state park or other accommodations in the area, we definitely recommend that you venture out onto the lake. It would be a shame to miss, and we guarantee that your exploration of the lake would be one of the highlights of your vacation, just like it was for Christy and I. On our second day at the lake, we rented a boat at a local marina and headed off into the sunlight of a beautiful Texas morning. Our first stop was Hell's Gate. By the time we had booked our stay at Possum Kingdom State Park, we were already well acquainted with the site of Hell's Gate that we had seen in multiple pictures on the internet and YouTube. 
It's a very prominent landmark of the lake and a must-see if you're ever in the area. The gate is flanked on one side by Devil's Island and then the adjacent cliff face creates an opening in the rock face that looks like something out of a Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Hell's Gate hosts one of the most spectacular fireworks displays on the 4th of July every year, but one of the things that has made Hell's Gate even more famous is the Red Bull Cliff Diving Competition, where daredevils dive from heights of over 90 feet. Now Christy and I weren't there to do any cliff diving of course, but it was a spot that I was very excited and a bit anxious to test out my new drone and get the most epic footage that I could manage. You saw some of that footage at the beginning of this video and here's a little bit more. Thank you so much for watching this video and following along with us on our journey and we hope that our video has inspired you to visit Possum Kingdom State Park. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Also, if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to follow us on all our future journeys.